Hi, I'm Rachel Williams. I'm one of the therapists with JFCS, and we'd like to give you more information for OCD Awareness Month. People tend to confuse anxiety and OCD since they do seem fairly similar. One of the key characteristics that separates them is that anxiety has to do with your reality, whereas OCD has to do with your imagination and doubt. So let me give you some examples. If you're struggling with anxiety, you may have a lot of what if thoughts that come up in your mind. You may be struggling if your boss say emails you and says, hey, I have this meeting, I need you to come in an hour. And you might be wondering what's going to happen next. You might be struggling thinking about an upcoming doctor's appointment, or maybe you're thinking about your kids going back to school. Those are all really great examples of what if thoughts that come up in your mind, and they all rely on your reality and your environment and what's going on around you. The thing about OCD is that it also expresses itself in what if thoughts, but what if thoughts that rely on doubt. So people may experience what if thoughts about situations that could never come true, that might be in their imagination. We call these magical thoughts. Maybe they're worrying about something that they don't have any background or information on. Um, so say they're worrying about a doctor's appointment they haven't even made yet about a disease that they don't even have. So those are just a couple of examples about how OCD can really twist our what if thoughts into doubt and imagination. A better way to put it is that anxiety hinges on information that is obtainable. You could worry about losing your keys and where those keys went, and you could obtain that information. OCD deals with doubt. You can't obtain information about whether or not you're a good person or whether or not you don't know something about yourself. That's not quite information that you can obtain. So as you can probably tell, this is just skimming the surface on some of the information about OCD. If you'd like to learn more, I encourage you to look up the International OCD Foundation website. And if you'd like to seek out services here at JFCS, we encourage you to call the mainline number. If you are um, trying to seek services for your child ages 12 to 22, we also have Upstreet services.